So good afternoon to everybody. Uh, thank you to be to be here at this time. Um, I would like to present this uh, ongoing project, which is uh, simulation for entrepreneurship, enter for future, and this is a project that we have uh, at SCAP with my colleagues Annabella and Rui. I'm presenting this this uh, paper. So uh, in this agenda, for the agenda of today. I will make a brief introduction. Uh, I, I will explain some objectives of the of the the project and to and also to present you the partners of the the project. Then I will talk about the expected results that we have. Then I will talk about our business simulation that we have at Dishcap because it's an a, an experience that I will we we will share with the other partners. Then uh, some ongoing activities, just to give you an idea, and then we, we, we will conclude. About uh, this entrepreneurship, as you know, um, of course, refers to an individual's ability to put his ideas into practice. And this is um, including creativity, includes a uh, sense of initiative, but it's also very important that we need some uh, uh, management competencies, management skills, because it's not only the ideas that are uh, in this case uh, important, because if we don't know how to manage the things and to, to put ideas into practice will be very difficult to have a business. So entrepreneurship is important, of course, but also uh, we, we have to take into account all these management uh, and business skills. And so uh, the overall objective of the project is to exchange, in a way, uh, professional practice because all the partners share uh, their business simulation. They have a kind of simulation in their in their institutions. And then, of course, this is this can be this only this is, is important. But also, we uh, try to develop a method to entrepreneurship education of young people and, of course, using uh, the innovation and the technologies that we have today. Um, of course, this is also important, and I will present to partners who will understand that, but we have high schools in our project and also university, which is important because uh, to exchange these two kinds of levels of education is interesting. And also we will have, we have also uh, uh, chambers of commerce, which are also our partners. Um, the objectives are, uh, we have two different uh, types of, of objectives. The short term objectives are for the staff that uh, are active in training and education. And this is important because some of the staff, and the, we understand that during our project, they, they need to upgrade uh, uh, their skills. And the skills are important because this upgrading is important because they will, uh, uh, of course, uh, teach the, the, young, the young students and the young people. So it's important that we prepare first and uh, at a short time um, uh, the, 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 the teachers and then, of course, they will be prepared to teach. Uh, young students and school pupils, which is a, a long-term objective. Uh, in terms of the partners, we have five countries in this, uh, in this uh, project. Uh, Portugal, Romania, Cyprus, uh, Spain and Denmark, and we have seven partners. These seven partners uh, are um, one college from uh, uh, which is an high school from Romania we have an international business college from Austria which is also important because they they have the the, the secondary level we have uh, one school from Spain from uh, from Spain we have SCAP which is our school and then we have also uh, an university from Denmark and uh, the Paphos Chamber of Commerce uh, from Cyprus and um, and the Chamber of Commerce in Romania so we have uh, in this way uh, three high schools that are the Romanian Austria and and Spain we have to uh, higher education uh, institutions, and these higher education institutions are from management area, SCAP and Business Academy Southwest in, from Denmark. 
And then we have two uh, chambers of commerce, which are from Cyprus and from Romania. Uh, of course, this is important for the, the, the outputs of the project, the outputs that we have um, expected uh, to have. Uh, we have the reports that are related with our meetings, the project website which is already uh, uh, being produced, uh, which is in www.interforfuture.com. Then we have, uh, we are preparing a curriculum, uh, a learning office, and then a good practice guide for this project. Just to uh, give you an idea about the contents of the website, of course, the website, we have the general information, uh, which is uh, uh, assessed by everyone. We have the meetings and reports of the project. We have the dissemination events, just like this one. Uh, we have multimedia gallery, links and contacts. And uh, just to give you an idea about the, the project and, uh, and the website of the project, I, I will I will show you some uh, some print screens of the of the site. This one presents some uh, some images. This is uh, images that are um, changing in the time, so it's something that we can see in the website. So this is uh, uh, the the a summary of the the project in terms of the objectives and so. And, uh, and uh, the partners and so on. We have all the information in, in, the, in the, 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 the website. Then we have also a curriculum, and a curri uh, the curriculum is the learning office, and this is um, a tool that is prepared at the time. So the general aims of this learning office curricula is, uh, according to the project, is employability, study skills, and comprehensive entrepreneurship education. And when we talk about employability, we, of course, uh, we know or we should know about key qualification and then commercial knowledge. And if we want to talk about study skills, of course, these skills are related with uh, management, accounting, business administration, office management, languages, law, and other competencies that are, uh, of course, um, pre predicted in this kind of uh, tool. In terms of co comprehensive entrepreneurship education, we have entrepreneurship skills, which are also important, and, of course, uh, we have uh, the, this important uh, learning office. Just to give you an idea about what we have uh, at SCAP, our business simulation, this is, um, I will present what we do uh, in, in SCAP. Business simulation is uh, a, a, a lecture or a course that is presented for the students uh, in our bachelor degree and, and the students that have business simulation have the possibility to assess to the chamber of chartered with accountants without having internship. Another important issue is that uh, this business simulation environment that we provide to students allows the students to have a, a, a risk-free environment but in a demanded, demanding and complex environment for them because they, they, they are in a situation just like in a real business world. So it's important for them. And this is, uh, they, they will work as they were in, 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 in companies. They will manage a, a, company, a company, so they have to deal with all the things related with management. And this is important for their real life after that. So the students, um, the main objective of the students is to manage the companies and of course uh, uh, they have to be available to deal with costs and profits during all the time. And of course this is something that is not traditional, it's not a methodology that is uh, traditional and uh, common, so we have this uh, very, in a very peculiar, peculiar situation, so we have the students using technology as ERP, which is all the things are integrated, and of course teachers need to be dedicated in, a, in another way, so uh, much more dedicated for this kind of methodology. And the students will be accessed not only 
in uh, individually as it is normally, but also as a group, because the things that they will do during the time they are in this case, uh, they they have to uh, to to be aware and they they need to be they need to be responsible what by what they do during this. Uh, this period and of course this kind of evaluation is made in a continuous mode. So I will show you some pictures of students working and they normally are very dedicated in doing this so as you can see in these uh, pictures and uh, of course they have some material that they use for the, the, the for managing the companies they have a printer, they have a telephone, they have a scanner, they have two computers as well, and they have some material that is office material that is needed for that. So it's also important uh, that they, they use uh, real uh, equipment that they will find in a, in, a, in, a, in a company. And also they have the possibility to deal or to uh, interact with each other because they, they have companies that buy and sell for each other, which is also important. And we have some important and, uh, and, uh, and uh, international institutions that they can use, national and international ones, that th they can interact because we have also some uh, some international clients and and international providers so we have also some national uh, institutions like the like social security and so on so they, they they need to know exactly how to deal with that so in terms of the project we have already uh, two meetings, one meeting in November in, in Denmark and then we have another one in past March in, in Austria and we will have just in a few days in Porto uh, here uh, the third meeting of the project. Just to give you an idea about what we have done during these uh, meetings, uh, we of course have sharing our uh, our knowledge and our experiences and this is very important for everyone because sometimes we um, can think that in some countries they are more developed than other ones in terms of this kind of methodologies and uh, we realize that we do uh, lots of things that uh, are reference for other other countries and other people so this is also important to uh, in this in this experience sharing so we have the opportunity to see how Denmark in this case is an university uh, uh, promotes the, the entrepreneurship uh, through education and of course there are some some things that uh, uh, I would like to to tell about just like uh, the experience that we have is the ex especially the environment they have for entrepreneurship, for uh, creativity, for innovation. This is something that it's not only the, the way they do, but the environment they create for that. So, uh, for instance, in the presentation, they, they say that all educations are business oriented, which is something that we have to think about. And of course, thinking uh, outside the box is also very important. This is, uh, these are photos from the, the place they have for promoting, for stimulating creativity and entrepreneurship. Of course they, they need and they promote also the, the, the support for the ones that want to create a, a business, to want to innovate, but this is the environment that they have in, in Denmark. After that we have uh, another meeting in, in Austria and in Austria we uh, found other kind of situation because it's a, a secondary level. So we, we found um, uh, some students working in, uh, uh, in companies, in, in companies but they are not real of course and these kind of companies uh, which is uh, training firms that they call training firms, they also interact with other training firms. But the thing is that 
um, when, when we are talking about our experience at SCAP, we are dealing with each other. In these cases, they only have in one uh, class, they only have one company, and they divide all the things, all the the the, the professional uh, issues for everyone. So they have different departments, and in different departments, they will have uh, people working in that companies. Just one company, we have in our experience several different companies in in the class. So of course this is a little bit different from ours and it's a, a different level as well, so it's not uh, the same. As you can see, um, it's, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, some, also some images for, from the, the, the visit that we have in the in, in, uh, university. In this case, we were talking about the entrepreneurship education in a way that uh, uh, the, the teacher, in this case, is a, an expert of this area. We're, we're talking about how uh, to deal with that and uh, this is, was something important in terms of how to make the curricula and to have some insights for that. And of course, um, some important uh, architecture as well, uh, interesting pictures. So, um, just to finish, I would like to uh, uh, show you that uh, we will have our meeting in Porto next, uh, the week next one, for the next, uh, in the final of, of October. So, I will uh, invite you, everyone, to be there because we will have a workshop for the ones that are interested uh, in, uh, in the 20th of October in the morning. So, we w you are all invited to be there. So thank you very much.